What's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for coming by. Today we're going to be taking a look at these. This is the NLT, the New Living Translation compact size filament enabled Bible and I have all four covers here to show you. Uh, they're brand new and I want you guys to take a look at this resource that's out there for you. For those of you who are new here, thank you guys for coming by. My name is Steve. While you're here, you're going to be encouraged and equipped to be the Christian you claim to be by going through scripture and solid tools and resources to help make your day-to-day -day better and more Christ-focused. If that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. All right, I'm excited to show you this NLT, New Living Translation uh, Compact Bible. And it comes in four, as you can see, it comes in four different cover types and the covers are all a little bit different. Uh, I also, it's important that I mention that this Bible is filament enabled. So at the end of this video, we're going to take a, a look over the Bible. But at the end of this video, I'm going to briefly go through what a filament enabled Bible is. I'm really excited about this technology and what Tyndale has done here um, with having basically a Bible working together with your phone and making an amazing little study tool. So before we get into it, um, all the covers, as you'll see, I mentioned there's four different covers and uh, I will take a quick look at each of them and each of the little slip covers matches whichever Bible it is. Those are basically the only difference between the slip cover and the slip cover gives you basic information. It's a, you know, the words of Jesus are in red, Smith soap binding. We'll take a look at some of that stuff. Um, and here's the back for you. Let me get a shot of that ISBN. I'm not going to uh, put every ISBN on the back, but it retails for $19.99. I recently saw this. I believe it was for like half price uh, because there's constantly sales going on. So you can probably find it for $9.99 or even uh, $14.99. And that is an amazing price for what you're getting. So first of all, let me measure. These are all almost exactly the same size. Of course, based on the cover type, they might be very slightly different, but you're looking at six and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches, and it's about three quarters of an inch thick. So these are not big. Um, I used to do this all the time, but I am an average size male. This is my hand. Uh, so as an average size adult male, I can, I can fit these uh, in my back pocket of like, if I'm wearing a pair of jeans, I can fit one of these in there. Very easy to, to, to carry and to, to uh, bring around with you wherever you go in a purse. And that's one of the reasons why I'm excited about it. Um, in the very near future, we're going to have a compact Bible showdown. So make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, so let me quickly go over the covers just so you know what's out there. This is the rustic brown cross, leather-like. And it has this really super nice little cross. And you're going to get um, perimeter stitching here. And even though it's leather-like, it, it feels really nice. They stamp in the grain, but, uh, you know, I, I really like this stuff. And again, for $20 or less, uh, you're getting a really nice quality Bible that's going to last. You do get one ribbon. And in a Bible that's this small and this thin, I'm not, I'm not going to complain about that. Those of you that know me know that I complain about how many ribbons I get because I love my ribbons. You get some art gilding. All right, so I'm going to put that one to the side and we'll show you the rest and we'll take a look through that one probably just to show you what's on the inside. Okay, this is the teal palm leather-like. So this is very similar and you'll see what I mean by similar in just a minute with the art gilding. I really like this. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a blue guy. I like blue. It's my favorite color. So you're getting a whole lot of blue in this cover. On the spine, they're all the same. Tyndale, Holy Bible, NLT. And the ISBN stamped in the back. This one also, it's a little bit harder to see, but it also has the perimeter stitching there. All right, these two I'm really excited about. Not that I was less excited about the other ones, but look at what you get here. Uh, let me tell you, uh, like since I found out it was gonna have a zipper, this is fantastic. Because for those of us that do carry around compact Bibles like this in our purse or in our back pocket, having a zipper is amazing. Uh, that's my opinion. So you get holy on the front. I kind of like that. And this is raised. It's almost like an extra patch. Um, and by the way, this is charcoal. It's called charcoal. And this is uh, zippered leather-like. Okay, and all this stamping. Uh, this is probably, man, these are all so nice. It's hard to pick a favorite. But between this one and the blue one, 
Um, they're, those are probably my favorite. Okay, and again, you get this really nice zipper. I will show you the inside of the zipper just so you see. This one, of course, is going to be just slightly bigger than the original um, measurements that I gave you because of the thickness of the zipper. But that's what it looks like inside the zipper there. And this uh, this last one here also has, has a zipper. This is Floral Garden. And this is zippered cloth, so it does feel slightly different than that leather-like but you get a really nice zipper with it. Throw this in your purse, in your backpack, bring it with you everywhere. Always have a Bible with you if you can, uh, at least one, uh, <laughs> because you know you can get the full 66 books of the canon with you everywhere. Uh, for $20 or less, slide it into the door of your car. Um, at, you know, Everywhere you go, you can have a Bible with you. You never know when you're A, gonna need something to read, B, going to need to do some witnessing and, you know, having the text there to show them or even just buy a couple to give away. Uh, you strike up a conversation with somebody who doesn't have a Bible and needs one. These are great, a great option for that, especially with the filament enabled, which we're going to go over at the end. So let's take a look. Um, let's take a look at what's in the Bible. I already mentioned you get one ribbon with each of these. Okay. And it is Smith sewn. And we'll open up. Let me zoom in here a little bit because this is small. I don't want to throw you guys off with uh, thinking that it's bigger than it is. But the liners are pasted down. And you do get a nice presentation page. And a little Bible verse. I like when they add stuff like this. It's nice. Not every Bible has this little extra page. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. Psalm 119, 105. All right, this is gonna be important in just a minute. So this little symbol here where it says filament enabled, this is how you're gonna scan into your app um, wh which Bible you have. I have a review on four, all four sizes. So compact, uh, I, I can't rattle them all off off the top of my head, but there's four different sizes with different font sizes. I'll drop links down in the description, but you have to scan it so the page numbers, which we'll go over in just a second, match the app and you get the right information. You can, I believe, have more than one Bible scanned in. So you get the information, NLT, the New Living Translation, and this is the compact, and then you get your um, legal information. For those of you guys that like that, you can pause on that and read that. All right, and then uh, you get your basic table of contents. Okay, so uh, th there's not a ton of study tools inside, physically inside, of, like a study Bible is. So I always have a hard time whether or not to refer to this as a study Bible or not. Because what I'm about to show you is you do get a bunch of study Bible material through the app. So you get your 66 books of the canon, and there's a verse finder in the back. We'll take a look at a couple of those things. And you get like your, this is how to use, okay? So this is your, your basically your how to use section. And this, especially if you're new to filament, um, you might want to take a look at that. It's real basic. It's real easy. If, as long as you have a smartphone or a tablet for that matter, um, it's not hard to figure out. And then an introduction to the New Living Translation. This is an introduction to the translation. So the NLT, the philosophy, not the filament or the compact Bible specifically, but the, the translation philosophy, why they translated things the way that they're translated. This is uh, what would be known as a dynamic equivalent or a thought for thought equivalent. Um, and you know what? The team of people that translated this I, I highly encourage you to go look at the names of of those uh those that did the translating you can find that since it's not written in this particular bible because it's too small you can find that at tyndale's website um and th they're highly respected this is a great translation for uh I don't want to say beginners because I read the NLT all the time, uh, but but it's just easier to read and it's good to know why they translated it the way that they translated it. You just need to know they do some of that the work for you uh, when it comes to the actual translation, which means instead of you going to do a word study, you're getting somebody else's opinion of what some of the words mean, some of the words that are not translatable. All right, and then we get into the text. So let me lift this up for you just a little bit. This is a 6.5 point font, 
Okay, that's on the small side. I'm not going to lie. Um, if you've been following my videos for any amount of time, you know that I have started, I'm calling it graduated. Uh, I have started graduating to like 10 and 11 point font. I just really enjoy the bigger font. That being said, my eyes still work really well with the exception of the fact that I'm colorblind. Um, but my eyes work well and I'm holding this at literally complete arm's distance right now. And, uh, which is about three feet and I can read it just fine. So the font is not too small. They didn't try to jam too many words in there with the small font. Uh, so it's very, you know, it, it's not a problem to read. Let's flip open here to, uh, one of my favorite sections, Esther and Nehemiah. Well, I could have stopped there. Ironically, I flipped all the way through a different uh, copy of this. So some of the pages are a little sticky. I usually turn all, almost all the pages and flip through and look at it all, but they're all the same. So I didn't do that four times. All right. So here, you know, I like Isaiah because you get paragraph format. So this is dual column paragraph format, which means all the verses uh, as opposed to verse by verse. But then you, you right next to the paragraph format, um, you're going to get poetic setting. Poetic settings almost always in um, verse by verse format. And it's a little bit different. It's indented a little bit different and it has a stand as. So I like to show everybody that. Not only that, but this is a great place. Let me see how close I can get it for you there to show you what line matching is. So when the line behind it matches up with the line that you're looking at right there, that's called line matched. Most Bibles are line matched these days and it makes it really easy to read. It makes it so this ghosting that you see here doesn't kind of show through in the in the in between the lines of text and it makes it a little bit easier to read. So that's why I like to kind of show you guys that stuff. Um, just so you can see what it looks, just so you can see what it looks like. Everybody kind of has their preference on dual column, single column. Um, and whatnot. Uh, but it's important to see. Uh, I only have one Bible I found out. I just reviewed it recently that does not have a poetic setting and it's a King James Version Bible. Um, you, you do get the footnotes at the bottom. These footnotes are teeny, like teeny, teeny. So if this is a six and a half point font, I'm going to say that's like a four. That's a guess. <laughs> so don't quote me on that. But, uh, but there are a few footnotes And that's basically what you're getting in the actual text, okay? I do want to show you one quick picture of the red letters here. And for the again, for those of you guys who've watched my reviews before, first of all, thank you. I really appreciate it, uh, getting the word out there about the resources um, that are out there. But you know that I'm colorblind, and sometimes I have a trouble with, with red letters, Um so if the red's not right, it almost throws me off more than it helps. And I've had other people mention the same thing. That's why they like black letter. I'm going to tell you this. This red letter, is it pops to me. I like the word pops because it stands out. And I can tell the red letters from the black letters um, from quite a ways away. And that's not always the case for me. So if that's something that's a factor for you, just wanted you to know that. Now, it does have this section in the back. All the Filament Enabled Bibles... Uh, have this. This is a visual overview of the Bible, and I love it. Um, I am a visual guy. I really appreciate uh, maps and charts and diagrams. It, it, it just helps me learn. It helps me put my hands, so to speak, on, on things that I'm not as familiar with as maybe I'd like to be or I should, especially when it comes to timelines. And so it does have this section in the back there to help you out. So all four Bibles, as far as the interior of the Bible, are exactly the same. And uh, so if you have any questions on that, please let me know anything that I might have missed or glossed over. But I do want to take one or two minutes just to show you, if you haven't seen before, what the Filament Bible is. So as I open my Filament app here, um, if you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up. All right, so I'm going to show you my phone and I don't know what it's going to look like to you guys, but see, there's a Filament app. So you open your Filament app and you have some options, study, reflect, and see. Here's how this works. So first of all, let me see if I can show you. If you have multiple Bibles, you can go to the edition name. So thin line reference, personal size, giant print, NLT compact, okay? So I'm on the NLT compact. So if, if for some reason you're getting the wrong pages, you might've scanned in the wrong Bible. So I mentioned in the beginning 
when you first oh, when you first get this, you're just going to download the film and app. You sign up technically for an account, which is your name and like an email address. That's it. And uh, it opens up and it'll ask you to scan that. So you scan this and that pairs the size Bible with the app. And then it's going to have you scan page probably 59. For me, it was page 59. All right, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to try to get this so just so you can see what happened if you're new to the app, but it's kind of hard to do with, um, it's kind of hard to do with on the camera and everything in my hand at the same time. So you're going to scan that with that and it's going to say go to page 247. So I'm going to say go for you because that's the page that we're on, 247. Now, see, look, 2 Samuel 14. We're in 2 Samuel 14 to, well, 14 to 16. So these are the notes on these pages of scripture. So let me hold this down here since I've been shaking it around a whole lot and you're gonna click on study. So this is gonna give you commentary on this whole section of scripture, such as let's say you want to know a little bit more about the Kidron Valley, whatever that, whatever that verse happens to be, uh, to be talking about, you're gonna get some commentary on that. Okay, you're all, you also um, have the ability to read a few. These are all based on this section, not one specific verse, but this section of scripture. Um, read some articles, okay? Some articles that are written on the verses based on the verses that you're reading right now. And if there happens to be, there are videos. They um, This app is, is linked up with some videos that you can watch on YouTube. And uh, this is the Bible Project, and it'll give you overviews, okay? Overviews and interactive maps. I think this, that's fantastic of what really is going on here in the scripture that you're reading, and you can use these two things in tandem. All right, so that's, that's a really a relatively quick look um, at, the filament, at the Filament Bible. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer. I, I do have, I'll drop a card um, uh, and a link down in the description, a more full review of the actual filament portion with the first filament Bible that I reviewed. So we'll put that on there for you also. I'm really excited about these covers and I wanna say thank you to Tyndale for sending me them to review so I can show you solid tools and resources that are out there. The filament like enablement uh, the filament enabled Bibles have over 25,000 study notes, 350 videos attached, like what I showed you, 40 plus maps, like 400 profiles and articles on people that are in there and devotionals. It's, it's basically a whole library um, of information and tools. And uh, they've even included some worship music in there for your study and for your betterment. Uh, so I think that this is a really cool technology and I, I want to make sure that you know about it because it really can help you study and can help you learn. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, thank you guys for watching and hanging in there with me today. I hope I've earned the privilege of your time. Hey, we have lots of great content coming out, including uh, I'm going to do my top five apologetics books uh, in no particular order, and that's going to be a live stream. So it should be next Monday. Uh, make sure you uh, tune in for that because if you have questions, that'll be a great time to ask those. We also have the New King James Version Study Bible, the Full Color Edition, uh, the Thompson Chain Reference Bible, lots of good solid resources. The keyword, I got a brand new uh, ESV keyword study Bible that I'm excited about. So lots of good stuff coming your way. Make sure you're subscribed. Here's a couple of other videos that you may be interested in. And don't forget, be who you claim to be.